it's Monday night. Sorry about the dark video, but um, this is what you get when I drive at night. And I found out the hard way that if I point it at the street, it's very blurry and you really can't see anything. So I don't know what's, what's better, blurry road or me in the dark. And you get to see me every once in a while if a street light happens to shine on my face. So I had to run a few errands. I had to drop some stuff off at Goodwill and I hate donating to them, but they're the only ones that stay open later for donations and they are close to home. So they got three bags of crap tonight, full bags, very heavy bags. And I got very irritated bringing them out to the car because someone didn't want me going out the front door. So I had to go out the back door and go all the way around the house because, you know, front door is an issue. So, Anyway, that got done. Then I had to go to Home Depot and pick up, pick up the furniture dolly. If you missed my last video, um, I talked about having to buy a hand truck and a furniture dolly. Well, I do not have to buy the hand truck, but I still am going to need a furniture dolly when I get to Kentucky. So I ordered that, picked that up. Um, at least it wasn't very much. It was like $12 plus tax or whatever, I think. I don't remember. It wasn't very much, but every little bit is counting right now. Um, then I just stopped and pick up some groceries. I'm not buying very many groceries. I've been living on bullion and cheese sandwiches the past week. <laughs> picked up some orange juice. I ran out. And I thought, well, I can get a little baby one on my way home. So, because I drank that half gallon over a day and a half before the swap meet. So, that did not last very long. But I'm still using the Zycam. Still using the saline and the Flonase and taking my vitamin C and doing all the things. Because now, yesterday I was just exposed to a whole bunch more people at the swap meet. Hopefully no one gave me germs. You never know what you're gonna run into. And it's not just COVID, it's any of the germs. I don't want any germs right now. I have too much to do this week. And then I'm gonna be not really getting any sleep for at least three days. You know, I might get a little bit here and there while I'm driving to Kentucky, but I think the longest I'll probably be able to sleep will be maybe four hours. And it's not going to be deep sleep like I would get at home. Oh, it's very dark in here. You know, it's going to be not not great sleep. So, you know, I don't want to be teetering on being sick and then deprive myself of sleep for several days because that will definitely throw me over the edge. And I'm not going to have any insurance when I get to Kentucky. So I can't be going to the doctor for anything for at least six months, so I gotta be very, very, very careful. Oh, well, anyway, I've still, I'm still trying to make my way through the stuff that I wanna get rid of. I know there's more. I, I know for sure there's at least two more big bags full of stuff that I'm gonna wanna get rid of. Crap, I'm behind a bus. Eh. And there, there's a bus stop right past this intersection. So I'm probably gonna be stuck behind this bus. At least they don't smell as bad as they used to. I don't know what they're doing now with them, but maybe they're just newer vehicles, but man, I remember you know, back in the day, even up until 10 years ago, if you got behind a bus, oh, you couldn't breathe, you know, it was bad. It's not so bad now, at least not while they're idling. I don't know what it's going to be like when they take off, but for now, it's okay. Um, I'm, I'm going to get a hold of Sue. Yep, it's pulling over, so I'm going to be stuck behind the bus. That's awesome. Oh man, I can't 
can't go around because there's a bunch of traffic coming. Shit. Is he gonna go? No. Oh, now, of course, you guys are getting to watch me try to get around the bus. He'll go as soon as I do. right at the edge of the intersection. So if the light had turned red for me, I didn't want my ass end of the car getting taken off. Okay, we survived that. I cannot believe how dark it is. We don't have a ton of street lights in my neighborhood, at least not on this side of the road. They're all on the other side of the street. So that is why it's extra, extra dark. I can't remember if there's anything else I was going to tell you guys. I figured what I would do is just every time I'm in the car, I'll film a little bit and then I'll upload after, you know, after I have enough footage for it to be worth it to upload it. I don't want to upload 10 minutes here and there. So I'm just letting you guys know what I'm doing and what's going on. And um, I'll probably. I don't know if I'm going to have to go anywhere tomorrow, Tuesday, but I, you know, I know I'm going to have more stuff to donate, so um, whenever I go do that again, I will record some more. Hopefully it won't be at night and you guys will be able to see me. I would turn the camera around, but we all saw what happened when I film the road with the lights. It's just blurry fuzziness, so I don't know if it's any better than this. I don't know. Um, anyway, I am almost home, so I cannot believe how dark it is in here. Uh, okay. All right. Well, I got the furniture dolly, so at least that's taken care of. Got some crap out of, some more crap out of my room. I've still got more to get rid of, and I need to get my inventory boxed up and packaged so that hopefully things won't get broken. When the movers are loading everything, I don't know. I'm afraid half my inventory is going to get broken. It's not packed like it would be for shipping. I don't know if that makes any sense. It's it's in boxes and it's packed, but I did not have time to wrap everything like it's getting shipped. So, you know, it is what it is. All right, I will check back in with you guys in the next day or two. Hello. It is Thursday. Yes, I have the same shirt on that I was wearing Tuesday. <laughs> I live in my pajamas, so the only time I put my outside clothes on is if I'm going somewhere. So, this didn't get worn for very long last time I wore it. Anyway, and we discussed this before, but someone who has my email address sent me a Starbucks gift card. <laughs> I don't know. There's not very many people who have my actual email address. So it's a it's a it's a small number but it's still I don't know who it is. Because they didn't put the name on the thing when they sent it. So thank you. <laughs> Whoever Whoever did that, um, I checked my Starbucks card because I have the app on my phone because I used to go all the time. And it has been exactly a month since I've been. So I may stop today since I have Starbucks money now. Since it has been a month since I've wrecked my back this morning. Well, it's it's after, it's new. It's afternoon now. I've got a bunch of stuff to donate, so that's where I'm going. And then someone asked me if I could pick up ice on the way home because I haven't wrecked my back enough. So I'm gonna do that. She's been acting like a human for the most part. She's still getting short and snitty with me, but and that's a combination of snotty and shitty, snitty. So. She's still doing her normal, but she, she's having moments of trying to make me feel bad, I think. 
but it's like you wanted me out of here, so that's what I'm doing. You know, I don't know what she, I don't know what her brain, I don't know if it's working right. I don't think so. Anyway, I will be right back. Okay, yes, I just stopped at Starbucks. <laughs> it's been a long time. It feels like it's been longer than a month. Maybe because I used to go once a week, sometimes twice a week, depending on what kind of week I was having. Um, anyway, my steroid shots that I got about a month ago completely wore off a few days back. I, I noticed that I was starting to get the pinching nerve thing in my right lower back, you know, right, right side of my lower back about a week ago. I, w I, could, I could feel it was wearing off, that the shots were wearing off. And um, I hoped, because of when I got them, that they would last through loading the truck and getting the move, you know, getting everything ready to go for the move but it did not work out that way. So, um, and today, well, yesterday, yesterday and today, um, I noticed that I can't stand for very long in one position and trying to sort things to put in boxes for packing. If I'm leaning at all, like, you know, I'm standing like this. If I can stand straight up and down, it's not as bad, but if I lean the least little bit, it just, my back can't I can't and so I went ahead and started taking the steroids um, I've got oral steroids I had a pack I think they last six days the first day you take like six pills or something and um, and then the next day you take fewer and then fewer and fewer and fewer the last time I did the pills they did seem to help a little bit uh, but they wore off almost immediately after I stopped taking them. You know, like when the prescription ran out, which I think is six, I said six days. So if I'm taking them today and it's Thursday, that means that I'll take my last one next Wednesday and I will be in Kentucky Possibly as early as Thursday, but I'm, I'm thinking for sure by Friday I'll be in Kentucky. So they will have worn off by then, but I will have some helpers, you know, to get the stuff unloaded and I, I won't have anybody breathing down my neck, so that'll help. Anyway, so I started the steroids. I've had this prescription sitting for a while and... You know, I was just hanging on to it. I didn't want to take it so soon after getting the injections, but I can't get anything done with my back the way it is. I'm having to sit down every 10 minutes. You know, you can only do so much sorting and packing from a chair. You know what I mean? So, anyway, I'm hoping that the steroids will kick in tonight, maybe, and they make me sweat, which I do not like, but at least it's not as hot as it's been. And they don't, I, I'm, I can't sleep very good, which is fine because I need to be packing stuff. The only thing they do that concerns me is they weaken your immune system and I don't need that. I don't need to catch anything right now, you know, so that's the only thing that really concerns me about taking them but it happens with the injections too so but it's i think more so with the with the oral i don't really have a choice i have to be able to i don't know if i'm going to have everything packed honestly i have felt so frozen I, every time she yells and i can hear her you know she's screaming at the television and she's still doing that, even though she's not yelling at me when I walk out of the room. The yelling still, it's like, it triggers me. And I don't know if I have some kind of weird PTSD from her, from all of her screaming fits. Um, it brings up a lot of things from when I was a kid. And since I've been living here, you know, it's just, I can't wait to get out. I, oh, everything is going to be so different. 
and I just cannot wait. Okay, I don't know what that is. I can't get through the parking lot right now. I gotta pull back out on the street. Awesome. Oh well. I'm trying to go donate. Anyway, I will be back. Okay. That that I had so much heavy stuff. Um you know, I was thinking that Sue might want some of the stuff that I was going to get rid of, but looking at it, none of it was really, you know, none of it was stuff that's going to sell great or whatever. So I went ahead and just donated. Um, now I'm going through this parking lot from hell again. Unfortunately, Goodwill has gotten a number of things from me because they are close to the house and they don't have specific hours when you can donate. Anytime they're open, you can donate. And a lot of the other places, because they're smaller, have specific hours or even specific days that you can donate stuff. And I don't have time to mess with that right now, unfortunately, you know, because there's some stuff that I've donated that I would, would prefer to have given to Halo or the Humane Society thrift store, but they're far away, number one. I don't have time right now. I just do not have the time. And their hours that you can donate are weird, you know? So it's Goodwill this time. I'm sorry, but I do not like donating to them, but whatever. At least I'm not having to throw stuff out. You know what I mean? I, I just have to look at it like that. I'm not throwing things in the garbage. Things aren't going to the landfill, hopefully. You know, maybe somebody that goes to Goodwill can use some of this stuff. Anyway, so. I have a headache. <laughs> My back is so pissed off at me right now. Um, what else was I going to tell you guys? Okay, so I got my Starbucks. It, it seems like it has been so much longer than a month since I've been. Yum. They made it really good this time too. Sometimes, sometimes it doesn't taste quite right. You know? And then it's depressing. Because it's like, okay, I just paid like $7 for this drink. And it doesn't taste right. <laughs> Even if you go to the same store all the time. It depends on who the baristas are that are working. Okay, I don't know what this person, you guys can't see what I'm seeing, but this person in front of me is not fully in the left-hand turn lane. That's number one. Number two, there's about two car spaces between them and the car in front of them. Uh, so I don't know if they're not paying attention or if they're just a thousand years old and they're, you know, they stay way back, but we're not gonna make it through the next green arrow. I know that much. Oh well, I needed a break from the house. You would think, you know, that she could tone it down with the screaming. I just, it makes me like lock up every time she does it, even if it's not directed at me, when she starts yelling. And it's not just yelling, it's actual screaming at the television like she's gonna kill somebody, you know? That's what it sounds like or, and feels like. So, oh, I made it through the light, yay. They stopped sleeping. They're still riding in two lanes. I don't understand. How do you not know where your car is? I get behind them, I don't wanna be next to them. No, no. They can't stay in the lane. I don't know what they're doing, but I, if I could turn the camera around while I'm recording, I would so you guys could see what this person is doing. Oh, they're getting over now, so that's good. I'll just be behind them again. I do not want to drive next to this person because they can't stay in their lane. Anyway, um, there was some other stuff I was going to tell you guys, and now I cannot remember, you know, things that I thought of while I was doing stuff since I talked on camera the last time, which I think was Tuesday. I think it was Tuesday that I ran errands and recorded a little bit. I don't even remember what I said. Um, yeah, I'm having trouble packing. 
and I don't know if I'm going to have everything done. I have to. I have to have everything packed by Saturday night. This is what I'm telling myself because Sunday I want to clean. Like this room that I'm living in has tile floors, but I have not been able to sweep or dust or anything for a couple of years now because I've had so much crap in the room. You know, there's nowhere to, to you can't get to dust that's between boxes and, and bags of stuff. So once I get rid of enough crap and I can consolidate my boxes of inventory into one spot, then I'll be able to, you know, clean up and because I don't want to hear it from her. She's, this is the person who hasn't showered since, I don't know, February or March. It's been a while. She worries about dust on the floor. Like, really? <laughs> Whatever. Anyway. Um, gosh darn it. Oh, I've mapped out my entire route. And I have shared it. Not with the address where I'm moving to. Or my address here. But just the route that I'm taking from Phoenix to... Uh, Upper Kentucky, um, very northern Kentucky, near Florence. Anyway, I, I've mapped out the entire route and I shared it with my friends on Facebook. And I'm like, if I go missing, <laughs> you guys will know exactly the route I was going to be taking. I will not veer from it. You know, the only way I would veer from this route is if there's some kind of a detour on the freeway, you know. That's the only reason. I'm going to be on the 40 for the majority of the trip. I think until, well, I have to go through Pace in Arizona and up through um, the northeast part of Arizona and then into Albuquerque. But once I get to the north northeast part of Arizona, I'll get on the 40. And I will stay on the 40 for most of the trip. I think until I get to um, Nashville. And then I take one that kind of goes northeast. And I think it's 64 or 74. I can't remember the number. But I have it all mapped out. So, um, and I'm looking for the truck stops along the way. There's Loves and Pilot. And there's another one. Um, and I called one of them because I think I'm going to end up in, I think it's Amarillo. If I can drive for a full... 12 hours the first day. I should be able to stop around midnight in Amarillo, depending on how things go, you know, and how the truck does and how slow I have to drive. Um, but I should be able to stop and get at least, I don't know, a few hours sleep in the truck. And then one of my viewers um, has offered to get me a hotel room. She's got points on her card or on her account or whatever. And um, she offered to get me a hotel room as long as I can call her a couple of hours before I'm going to be at the location. You know, then she can call and get it set up. So I'm thinking it's going to be Memphis. I'm not positive. But if I can get there around three o'clock in the afternoon when it would be check-in time then I could take a shower and sleep for about six hours and then I can get up and get out of there so that I will get through the next big city before rush hour morning traffic starts it's all very strategic <laughs> you know what they say about plans though um I don't know how well this is going to go for me, but these are the sort of plans that I have, you know, just so that I can get a little bit of sleep, at least in the cab of the truck for a couple hours, and then uh, maybe a hotel room for like, I'd be there about seven hours if I slept for six, so, and take a shower and stuff. I don't know if Simon's going to be able to be in the room with me, but the weather's not going to be too cold or too hot 
from what I can tell, I keep checking the weather in these different locations, and I don't think it's gonna to be too cold or too hot for him to stay in the cab of the truck. Um, the only thing I would have to do is take his, I'll leave his um, vest on him, but I would detach him from the seat so that he doesn't get himself caught or anything, you know, and I'm not out there to keep an eye on him. But um, we'll see if I'm comfortable leaving the truck but if I, if I can lay down around, you know, if I can check into the hotel at 3 p.m., it'll be daylight still for a few hours while I'm sleeping. So then that would mean the car would only be, the car and the truck would only be sitting there in the dark in the hotel parking lot for just a few hours. It wouldn't be like a whole night because I'm gonna be worried about someone breaking into the car or the truck, you know, um, anyway. Okay, I'm gonna get the ice. Um, if I think of anything else I was gonna tell you guys, I will tell you on my way back to the house. Okay, got the ice. At least it's not a million degrees today. And there's a little bit of a breeze, so it's actually almost nice in the shade. If you're not, you know, doing a bunch of stuff, you're just kind of hanging around. Like I could sit in the shade today with my laptop and not die. So <laughs> that's about the only way I can think of to, to put it. Anyway, um, these people with this little ice store, and they sell other stuff, but a lot of ice and water. So nice. They know I'm leaving, so. This will be, I'm positive now, the last time I stop and get ice for her. And it's supposed to get hotter again after I leave. So she may have to drive her happy ass over here in her truck to pick up ice after this. Because the temps are supposed to go down a little bit, but then they're supposed to go back up close to 100, like a day or two after I leave Phoenix. Thank goodness I won't be here for that shit. I'm so sick of it. Ugh. I've checked the weather along the whole route, you know, the different cities that I'll hit. It doesn't look like I'm going to hit, hopefully, any rain or anything like that, which is, I'm very glad, because I want to try and do some of my driving at night, because I just, the time goes faster if I drive at night. I think I've mentioned that before. And if it's raining at night, I won't drive in it because then I really can't see anything and it, it makes me too nervous. So I'm already gonna have enough issues with the giant truck and trailer, you know. So, some of these, these people, I don't understand how they drive like they do and don't worry about possibly hitting someone. <laughs> uh, not my circus, not my monkeys. Or not my monkeys, not my circus, whatever. I'm, I'm glad to be leaving Phoenix. There are so many people here from elsewhere. Like, it's just, I mean, we get people from the Midwest, from the East Coast, from California, Mexico. I mean, just the amount of people that we get from other places and they all drive different. And you throw them in one place together and it is like, I don't even know how to explain it, but it's not good. So I'm hoping that Kentucky, will just be a lot of people from Kentucky and I'll, and I'll learn how to drive like they do, you know? So I can just kind of fit right in. And I mean, I'm sure, you know what's weird? I don't know. I'm gonna go off on this now for a second. Um, a lot of people, that I have talked to know someone who's moving to Kentucky. And I'm like, okay, what's that all about? I've talked to at least 10 people over the past two months who have known someone personally that is moving to Kentucky. And I'm like, okay, why? <laughs> Everybody suddenly discovered that Kentucky might be a good place to go. I don't want everyone to go there. I want everyone to stay here and 
I can go someplace where it's not going to be overcrowded and stupid with people. It's just too, it's, there's too many people here. I don't like it. You know? Anyway. Well, crap. I can't think of what else I wanted to tell you guys about, so... This is probably going to be the end of this video. It's not going to be very long. It's not chucked full of any information. I sold nothing because, you know, my store is closed. So I did have a sale, though, that was a viewer, and I didn't know it. And when she left a review for me on eBay, she said my name in the review. And I was like, I wonder if this was a viewer. So I messaged her through eBay. And asked her if she was a viewer and she said oh yes I am and I'm like well crap you know I didn't get to thank her so if I go back through and find her purchase I will put a thank you on the screen up here somewhere so you guys will know who she was and um, yeah I will do that I've gotten a couple phone numbers too from viewers who said and Lisa has she's a night owl like me so she said I can call her at night. She's making a list of subjects that we can talk about <laughs> so that we can have interesting conversations while we're on the phone with each other. Oh, I bought a different phone mount for the U-Haul truck because the one that I have that I use in the car does not fit on the U-Haul review mirror. Their review mirrors are super fat and my phone mount did not fit on the one in the 10-foot truck. So I got a mount that I can attach to either the windshield or the dash. And it's got a suction kind of a thing, but I'm not gonna use that. I got some of those command strips so that I can mount it that way so that I can remove it um, if I need to or move it around, you know, because it'll just be Velcroed on. So anyway, hopefully that works, but it's the only thing I could think of, you know. And it's got like a neck that you can adjust or whatever. So, I got that. It wasn't very expensive. It was under, I think it was right around $15. Um, and then I found out that the U-Haul trucks have the stupid cigarette lighter thing. You know where your cigarette lighter used to go in your car? They still have those. So, I have to buy a converter for that or an adapter so that I can charge my USB stuff that I need to charge. And... Um, you know, my phone and uh, let's see what else my uh, these my batteries for my vape um, my mp3 player that's the other thing I don't know if they have an auxiliary plug and I'm gonna be screwed if they don't because I want to be able to listen to my music and the podcasts that I've downloaded so that I have something to listen to because radios do not work half the places you're driving in a U-Haul truck and their radios leave something to be desired anyway. So there's that. So I have to really hope that they have an auxiliary plug so I can listen to my music. Um, there was something else, I don't remember. Anyway, that's it for now. <laughs> I'm sure I'll jump back in and maybe do one more video before I leave. be but yeah because once Monday rolls around I'm not going to be uploading any videos I will be loading stuff anyway thanks for watching thanks for subscribing thank you guys again for everything all the support emotionally financially I could not do this without you and um, I will see you guys soon bye